After the power phase, you will be releasing the paddle from the water with your exit. Remember that you will be initiating the exit at the back of your power phase around when your elbow reaches your torso. As you can see in the video, once my elbow gets to my torso, I am releasing the blade from the water. You can also use your bottom hand as an indicator. When the bottom hand is hitting your thigh, the blade should be on its way out, if not already out of the water. Similar to our catch, we want as little splashing as possible as an indication of efficiency during this phase. You don't want to be paddling like you're trying to splash the paddler behind you. This is a classic beginner mistake that I see a lot and you don't want to do unless, of course, you're trying to have fun with your friend and splash them behind you. Feathering the blade is helpful in creating a smooth release and setting yourself up for the recovery, reach, catch, and power phase. It can really help to create a nice rhythm to your stroke. You can achieve the feathering motion by dropping your top shoulder and breaking your wrist inward or a combination of both. And you can imagine the breaking your wrist inward motion is as if you were trying to touch your middle finger to your forearm. 